glorious day. And what a privilege it is to be here for this marvelous event. Today, a great nation remembers its veterans, their service and sacrifice, their unkind. But we can also draw strength from the memory of the soldiers, the sailors, the airmen, the Coast Guardsmen, and the Marines who served and sacrificed. A collective strength that has been the recently passed bill to elevate the veterans program from agency to department level. Legislation to make the Veterans Administration part of the President's Cabinet was considerable of its government. This support of long-awaited recognition for veterans is only one indication of this man's feeling for our nation and the peace and the freedom that it stands for. Through his courageous advocacy, we achieved unprecedented progress towards limiting the arms that threaten global conflict, greatly strengthening the entire world's prospect for a lasting peace. close to us still. Yet we also know, even as their families knew when they last looked upon them, that they can never be fully ours again. But they belong forget. Even if they were not our own, we could not forget it. For all time, they are what we can only aspire to be. Giving, unselfish, the epitome of human love, to lay down one's life so that others might live. We or at sea or in aerial combat. And as life expired, we know that those who could had last thoughts of us and of their love for us. Faith to in God and in the nation has pledged itself to his work and to the dream of human freedom. And a nation too, that today and always pledges itself to their President Reagan brought the Vietnam veterans home. Yeah! Yeah, yeah I sure did! Yeah! Supported Vietnam veterans. Yeah, they did. One important way is the National Park Service, which have been good stewards of this memorial. It is more beautiful today than when we first opened it. Now, the president, the president did this in three ways. First, there were programs. One example is the Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program, which he launched, which coordinated with all the veterans service organizations. There were 30 Vietnam veterans in the most senior posts of government. In 1984, there were 300. But many of those men are before you today, Mr. President. You recognize friends, and she stood by our side through all the debate over the design. Well, we get a call. Could you bring the architect's model Bob? There are, I just uh, had a note, Mr. President. Uh, John Warner was going to join us today, but when he learned that you could come, then that freed him so that he could, he could be at the dedication right now of the memorial in Loudoun County, Virginia. And of course, they plan to introduce legislation to change the name of California to New Virginia. <laughs> when we visit this memorial, Mr. President, 
every Vietnam veteran sees a friend's name. And the thought that we have, this laid our hair, or the hair hadn't turned gray. But the commitment to country and the bonding among us, you can see in these men. To give to you and Mrs. Reagan, we hope that it, you can take it to your new home in California. Several heroes you left behind. Well, today, Veterans Day, as we do every year, we take that moment to embrace the gentle hero. After the killing fields of Cambodia, after all that has happened in that unhappy part of the world, who can doubt that the... memorial has become a monument to that living love. They stood in a chill wind as if on a winter night watch, and in that night their deeds spoke to us, but we knew them not. Their voices called to us, but we heard them not. Yet in this land that God has blessed, the dawn of all we, we love you. men are still being held against their will in Indochina. Otherwise, we will assume some are, and we will do everything we can to find them. To see the young man veterans take their rightful place among America's heroes, it appears to me that we have healed. And what can I say to all the young man veterans but? Welcome home. Thank you. We will put this note here before we leave. Our young friends, yes, young friends, for in our hearts you will always be young, full of love that is youth, love of life, love of joy, love of country. You fought for your country and for its safety, and for the freedom of others with strength and courage. We love you all. We honor you, and we have faith that, as he does all his sacred children, the Lord will bless you and keep you. The Lord will make his face to shine upon you and give you peace, now and forevermore.